time ever, according to the U.S. Attorney in the Southern District of New York, a drug company and its executives are facing felony drug trafficking charges. Rochester Drug Cooperative, or RDC, is one of the nation's largest drug distributors. From 2012 to 2017, it shipped tens of millions of highly addictive oxycodone pills and fentanyl products to pharmacies that it knew were illegally dispensing narcotics. RDC has admitted to selling highly addictive opioid pills to pharmacies that were flagged for illegally dispensing the drugs between 2012 and 2016. The company's sales spiked over that period by 800% for oxycodone and 2,000% for fentanyl. The government alleges RDC's CEO at the time, Lawrence Dowd, personally directed and profited from the company's criminal activity and that RDC's chief compliance officer Officer William Petrashevsky aided Dowd. Dowd cared more about profits than the laws intended to protect human life. Petrashevsky has already pleaded guilty to conspiracy to distribute controlled substances and is facing at least 10 years in prison. RDC's former CEO was arrested and arraigned today. Mr. Dowd is being framed. Plain and simple. In this case, the government just got it wrong. Mr. Dowd will not serve as their scapegoat. He fully intends to fight this with his last breath. And the government alleges that the motive in this case is simple, old-fashioned greed. It said in a news conference you saw a few seconds ago that this investigation will be a model to show that authorities are now cracking down and holding pharmaceutical companies accountable for their role in the opioid crisis. Live in Lower Manhattan, Alicia Nieves, PIX11 News. Right, Alicia, thank you for that. Well, new at 60.